Hello, uh, my name's David and I'm part of Sarah Heenan's uh, Saturday afternoon ramble through the Kent countryside, the Garden of England. Um, we're just um, approaching the end of our journey now, but we've had a fantastic time. If you look around, you see a marvellous panorama. Nice here, isn't it? Yeah, it's all right. Good. <laughs> we can hear skylarks. I think you should all say an interesting fact as you go past me. Pluckley was invented by Romans. <laughs> I like kittens. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to say an interesting Hello. fact. Oh, Lucy almost did one. She said something anyway. And we've got two late comers behind us. I'm not. I'm not waiting for them. They're too slow. Ah, huh? yeah. Interesting fact: sharks can't get cancer. Really? Is that true, or did you just make it up? Why can't they? I don't know. They don't smoke bags. I don't know. <laughs> but it's true. It's true. When you go past, you two, go past my camera, you have to say an interesting fact. Well, no, does it mean I have to think of an interesting fact? Just make something up. Some people didn't bother and some people just said hi. Um, I've picked you a delightful flower. Thanks very much. Jane, are you gearing up with an interesting fact? Charlie Stone is a pervert. Lock up your daughters. <laughs> That's just not fair. She keeps saying it. I like these signs. Saracen's Dairy. I'm going to catch up with this look because I don't like being at the back. But I'll have a look. Are you still filming? Now I'm filming, filming. again. <laughs> and I want you filming. to all say an interesting fact again, please. I don't have one. I Just don't know anything that's interesting. Hi, my name's Melissa and I don't know any oh, interesting things about anything, which is a really interesting that's fact in itself, me. right? Yeah. How about... Let's all say something about the lovely day we've had. Sarah, I, you're in I'm charge. I'm just looking at train time, Sarah. Right, OK. Yeah. Charlie Stone, the notorious skirt lifter, is the heir to the Stone's ginger ale fortune. <laughs> <laughs> True facts. Hello. Hello. I never knew that. Apples make a delicious drink. I don't know if you've heard of it. It's called cider. Also, apple ties, but that's not as much fun as cider. I recommend you try cider. Made from apples. Oh, Soon. Nice. <laughs> Very good. Oh, right. I can tell you one, but it's not really. It's kind of a scientific -y one. Go and on. Might be a we bit like weird. Um, do you know why you have mint with lamb? Because they, if you supposedly, if you don't have the mint with it, there's worms in the lamb, so the mint stops them from growing in your gut. I like that. Wow. Yeah. Good I don't job! Like I that always crap. ate loads of mint sauce with my lamb. There used to be worms in pork. That's why people. Apple sauce. So yeah. Interesting yeah, fact or a fact sauce. about today, please, Alex. There are only two animals that can get leprosy: mint humans and, and armadillos. What? That's an interesting fact. What is it? No, that's a true fact. And I've, I've twice had cause to use that in pub quizzes. What's that? That armadillos are the only other animal that gets leprosy. Is it really? That's a good fact. Have we got AIDS off monkeys? Other useful science <laughs> fact. Yeah. Feline AIDS and human AIDS are <laughs> very, very different being, <laughs> beasts. In the sense that um, that they have found a cure for feline AIDS because it is <laughs> a that no. has similar effects but acts in an entirely different way. Wow. That was really, really it. cheerful. Bad. It's the only science fact I can think of. Very good. Claire, Hello. interesting fact and all something about today. 
Well, I will combine the two. Yeah. This is the first head, toilet head, I've ever been in that has flannels for you to dry your hands in. Or appetizers. Well, there you go. Fancy. <laughs> David, you've already done one. Actually, I'll come back to you. I know you've got another one. Come on, Bridget. I don't know any more interesting Say facts. something about today. I'm absolutely exhausted. Oh, David. Hello. Something about today or an interesting fact. Well, I've had a lovely day. Mm -hmm. That's not very interesting, though. So an interesting fact. I know one. You know that some mothers do have them. Mm -hmm. Did you know that the theme tune to Some Mothers Do Have Them is... Some mothers do have them spelt in Morse code. And I'm your host, Charlie like Stone. If you want, if you and want, my you interesting stay, if fact... <laughs> my interesting get, fact yeah, sure. is okay. that... <sighs> anyway, it's been brilliant. Thanks very much for having us. Well done, Sarah. the best interesting fact I ever heard. <laughs> and well done, Sorry. Sarah. <laughs> Who invented the whole day? Ginger beer. Oh, really, really nice day. It's been very good. That's the spirit. Um, I'd like to thank the very lovely Sarah Vake. Yeah. It's just it. a couple of soft drinks you'll have. Very cool. I want to go. I I'm go. dying to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Starting now. I'd like to thank you all for attending this meeting. Um, I hope you've all found it educational and entertaining and that you drank lots of drinks and kept Cider. yourself hydrated and With also <laughs> I'm very glad that you put up with our special people Charlie who um, seems to be wafting a branch around wafting. at the moment. It's generally wafting. We are a little concerned and hope that a high speed train from somewhere doesn't <laughs> knock her off the platform any seconds. Mm -hmm. um, Anyway, thank you very much for coming on this day trip. It has been a, a highly lovely day, and uh, let's go somewhere with bigger hills and less just green fields. I like those green fields. <laughs> Here's our train. Brilliant. Yeah. Push him in front, push him in front. <laughs> Don't squash Charlie. <laughs> That's got a little pair of white bloomers on the end of it. Right? Yes. <laughs> You can see us in the mirrors. We're now boarding the vehicle. I'm bringing a piece of paint with me. Um, it's just a little like we're enabling you, darling. <laughs> well, that's the tree equivalent of a fairy. I'm no, <laughs> you're the tree equivalent of a fairy. Uh, That's what you are. I'm not at all.